Hello and welcome back to another episode of War Tales. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our journey with the Ghost Pack. This is an ex post out of the future uh, recording because I needed to split the last mission in two parts. So what we're going to see is we're jumping right back into the mission. We're going to go through all of uh, the hard work that uh, will have brought me to here. So stay tuned and let's enjoy the fights. Here we go. All right, that was unfortunately important. Sometimes duty calls in the middle of a, an important fight. So let's regain our composure here. Sprinting across the terrain. Moving all the way here. Hitting. And yeah, that's already it. Same deal here. Quick and dirty. Going to hit uh, that swine. Not enough damage on the one hand. Good, we're okay in terms of terror so far. The nightmare always has binding terror, which totally sucks. Uh, mm. Three terror at the end of their turn, removed uh, when next to the ally that is also affected by it. Which, in other words, means we need to make sure that we're standing next to each other. And whilst we're at it, uh, the... Um, Stack has just moved into the terror terror fog. Well done. Well, it's bleeding at least, so that's good. Roby is a tiny bit afraid. Gotta be careful here. Zoe moves up. Charges over here. Unfortunately, can't see the nightmare. Very good. Every single hit uh, takes uh, takes their, their conscience away. That's the problem if you attack it. They are uh, acquiring terror, the, the big stack in particular. These are interesting. I mean, they do have a decent amount of hit points. Every time unit attacks, they apply one terror. If you were to run a lot of these boars at the same time, that would actually be quite interesting because you could force that enemies off the battlefield. Fight. A skillful way you not only escape death, but let us tarry no longer. We must think of your reward. Give me the creatures you've captured. should do it here's your reward one last thing if i were you i'd avoid north luderne over the next few days in fact i would simply leave the region entirely okay he's up for no good i can already see that
What is he going to do with these creatures? You can take a wild guess. I would think he's going to let them loose on the barbarians. No clue why exactly, but he seems to not like them at all. Cool. Polly got an aptitude point for uh, for fleeing the battle. Sometimes uh, these uh, things present opportunities. 16 movement and 16 willpower is enough. Um, I think we're going uh, with a more critical hit for now. He gets strength from blacksmith, so that should be fine. No need to put further strength into it. I think we want to increase critical hit for him in particular. The crits are nasty. Could switch him over in uh, to uh, Tinkerer uh, as well later. Because uh, that would be a very solid critical uh, critical hit. And Dilly here with 40% is already doing fantastic. Yeah, well, these guys are doing absolutely stellar. Imagine how Endgame uh, looks like. That's almost 100% crit then. Good. In the meantime, we want to reach that tracker's camp. I wonder if we could get some of these shackles to uh, get the nightmarish creatures. Still not sure if it would uh, be adequate to fight with them. I mean, the, the terror rule means five hits and you're out. So if we can find creatures that hit often, not very hard, but often, then that would absolutely be uh, worth it, right? I'm glad you're here. We'll need all the best trackers we can get. The guard told us about a monstrous carcass surrounded by strange tracks. The pack attacks are intensifying, so this hunt could be even more dangerous than usual. Are you well prepared, mercenaries? Make sure you are and let us know. We will wait. Just follow us to avoid getting lost. All right, well, that sounds like a plan. But we're not leaving here without cutting some wood. And Pervert is doing exactly that. I bet you at the end of uh, this run, he's a master woodcutter. Hates his life because he was forced to do uh, that, but he will be very good in woodcutting. All right, they are fast. Even faster than we are. They seem to be able to sprint an unlimited amount of time. you in my humble ways no thank you well now we do have a problem these guys are camping seems by the way as if there is another hunt brewing up there I know we had the looter and hunt the report mentioned a corpse lying somewhere between Ludon Jail and Fatcliffe Cave, which is here-ish. The guard wasn't lying. 
It's a ghost wolf carcass, all right. Unsettling to find it here. There hasn't been a hunt in a while. I can't imagine what killed it out here in the middle of nowhere. These wheel tracks are the only clue. Let's get to the bottom of this. Find the merchant or traveler who came here before us. Well, fan effing testing, right? Just talking about the ghost pack and running right into it. Good, everybody gets orderly. We're moving up here. Good. Dilly charges over here. And I think this would be a quadruple first timer. Nice little bleed. Good job. Okay, Nemri moves up, engages with the enemies, and kills them. I like the new skills, they are doing exceptionally well. Okay, the other pack is coming. A nightmare has appeared, of course, behind us. Where else? Moves up, hits the wolf, destabilizes it. Eh, not quite dead, but almost.
Good, we got like what, two Terra now? Three. Still three, okay. Good, in the meantime, the wolves are surrounding good old Roby. Can't let them have that. Good, this side here seems almost secured. Sprinting over. Making it bleed. And... Yeah, well, multi-attacks, not a good idea. Every single attack stacks one terror. Matter of fact, it's a horrible idea. another kill and we're moving back disengage up and that means we only have these two to deal with ah oh, not good shouldn't have hit him Might as well use the shout now. It's not great, but we don't need that much failure anymore. hit and that could be a kill all right you lot got the trade tough has a chance to not suffer injuries in combat that is I think what he have gotten from just running off uh, the battlefield which seems to be the best training for them ever.
And of course, more enemies. We're, we're waiting in the woods and it's just one engagement after the other. All I'm trying to do is to survive here. Two, three, one, two, three. Very good. Moves up, kills this guy, and then slides back like a chad. Two hits. Good, small little attack, I like it. All right, and back into order. Fantastic, everybody just got completely shat on. Wow. Holy Christ. This was a uh, massacre. I love that spec. Good, and finally Roby jogs nicely over there. And so much for the ambush. They weren't even lasting a single round.
Good, Andrew Sander still is making a lot of experience here. But despite all of our efforts, it is quite slow. On the flip side, we have now more wolf sausages than we can ever eat. And a lot of grilled pork. Good. That food will last us a while. Back to what we were doing, which was following the trail. This definitely is an area that we haven't explored yet. Monsters are caged like this, but we must free them before they attract others. The cage is holding the monsters captive is made of a metal very similar to the one uh, covering Professor Winfrey's chains. I wouldn't touch that if I were you, mercenaries. I did warn you to stay away. Who are you, and what is the meaning of this? Answer what you see here, trackers is the result of almost half a century of research. This bait is one of the greatest accomplishments of the University of Alazar, second only to the cure for the plague. Bait? Why would you want to lure the ghost pack here? Don't you think we have enough of them to deal with as it is? The ghost pack? No scholar worth their salt still cares about the ghost pack. What we're trying to lure here is much more prestigious. Mm-hmm. Resti You're trying to lure the beast to Luder. Do you want to wipe out the entire region? Mercenaries. If they go through with this, it will spell disaster for our kingdom. Please help us. Nonsense. It's a perfectly calculated risk. Pay no heed to the protests of uneducated knaves. We huh. Strategy perspective, if we attack uh, the trackers and... Hmm. Hmm. You know, it's a difficult choice because I would want to see what happens if we're siding with Professor Winfried. I'm pretty sure the trackers guild wouldn't really like that, but... Yeah, I'm sorry, but we're going with uh, the university at this in this case. Recruit stands here. Zealot stands over there. I think we're pretty much okay. This guy stands over there.
All right, so that would be a four-way tactical order. Perfect. Charging forward. Moving all the way to the back of uh, these guys and engaging. Good enough. Holy. All right, okay. down to 85 that's we're not going to be powerful enough to completely kill him in one turn moves over here This seems to be overall a relatively speaking straightforward and simple battle. Good, he's slowed down and heavily hit, hurt. Can't even reach Grell. <laughs> Let's engage over here, destabilize him, and hit them, and we're good. Alright, Jim moves up. Hits both. Boar is very injured. Dishes out a little bit of damage before it dies. Slaughter is pushed back and slowed down. And unless uh, the trekkers are getting reinforcements, I don't see how they ever are going to recover from this. Seventy two points of damage. Just as much bloodshed on top of it. Wow. Good hits this guy, so that we're ma definitely making sure that he's not going to survive it.
Okay, that bear is being taught a very valuable lesson. It's unfortunately level 9, which means more potent than Roby. But it appears that everybody here is just higher level compared to us. Best friend bonus. There is the kill. And galvanization is happening. Very good. I think that also counts for our allies. At least I would think so. Wow, massive hit. One, two, three, and the shield finishes the job. One more kill and we're done. Master Tracker is heavily poisoned. Let's try to hit him from behind because then the guard is gone. Destabilizing it makes it even easier. Yeah, our allies haven't really done a lot. It was mostly on us. Enerus has gotten the trade glorious. What exactly does that do? Chance to generate one Valor point at the end of the turn. Oh yeah, okay. Secret hunting technique. Strikes again if the uh, target is already uh, debuffed. Strikes again if an allied uh, animal is adjacent to the target. Strikes again if the target is not at full health. Ooh, oh oh. That looks like a fantastic pole arm. Your skill is undeniable, mercenaries. Thank you for your unwavering support to our greater cause, the pursuit of knowledge. We've tied you. Run away. Run. Run. Well, well, well. can already see this is not going to go well for us. But that's a perfect cliffhanger. <laughs> I know that's a nasty one, but we're going to continue our journey the next time right here. Uh, when uh, we're going to see what is going to happen. If you are not afraid in the dark, uh, try to motivate the like button to uh, accompany you. And uh, see you a little bit later. Bye-bye, guys.